the guy that's playing Joel is Troy Baker. He did uh, the voice of Snow in Final Fantasy XIII and both of the Final Fantasy XIIIs. And he also did the voice of Two-Face in uh, Arkham City and Robin. And the girl that's playing Ellie, she's, well, she's not a girl. She's, she's an older, she, I think she's like in her 20s or something like that. Uh, Ashley Johnson, but she has a very kiddish voice, so it fit perfectly. Um, she, she's never done video games, but she's been in TV and movies. I think she's in the TV show, The Killing. Now I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the, 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 the relationship between, between Joel and Ellie. Now this part might be considered spoilers for those of you that are really, really keen on not knowing anything about the storyline. If you don't want to know anything about the storyline, I'm going to talk about how, uh, pretty much how these two characters are put into this, the situation. So if you don't want to know anything about that, then I'd skip this part. Um, I will probably put an annotation somewhere around here to tell you exactly where to skip to, where I stop talking about this. But yeah, this might be considered spoilers because it does go into I mean it they they do not reveal why they're in the situation and like re they really like the biggest the most important things uh, that Naughty Dog doesn't want people to don't want people to know it's up to you if you don't want to see it then fine but these are possible mild spoilers Joel and Ellie, so this is 20 years after this whole pandemic, right? Joel and Ellie meet in the beginning of the game. It's not like you jump into the game and they already they were already together for years. They meet um, in the beginning of the game uh, in Boston. This area of Boston is a quarantine zone. It's a military quarantine zone, so it's kind of like a safe zone. It's a um, it's covered in like cement walls. They're constantly doing quarantine checkups. So if anybody is infected, they execute them immediately. So within these walls, it's pretty much safe because there are no infected in the in the area and uh, to get infected, you need to be you need to be in a very concentrated or confined area within the radius around the infected. So it's not like it's not like the spores will travel for miles and miles and then people get it sick. It's just you have to be in the vicinity of an infected person. Ellie is very obsessed with um, relics, now known as relics, like pieces of the old world, of pieces of of the old, the, the human culture that, that thrived when she, she was not born yet, like music and books and that kind of thing. Joel has been through a lot of situations in the gameplay you even find out that, or actually not in the gameplay, I think, I think it was in here. They have scenes, written scenes in here, which are really cool. I think they have like two or three written scenes. Joel says that he, I, I think you guys have seen the trailer where, the, the, the truck trailer where he's driving the truck and then he stops because the guy is like, he's limping and he's all, oh, you help me. And then she's like, are you going to help him? And then he just steps on the gas and they start attacking him. It was an ambush. After that trailer, it, this there's a scene that happens that that is is sh is talked about in the in the in the magazine. Um, when they crash and all that, she she asks him, "How did you know? How did you know that guy was pretending?" And he says, "Because I've been on the other side." So uh, you find out that Joel was actually what they that that faction that they they've been showing in the trailers and in the demos of those people that are attacking you. They're called hunters. So there's different factions in the game, um, but the the ones that they have showed it are the hunters, and they 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 pretty much will they'll kill you for a bottle of beer. So they're the ones that the scavengers pretty much. So Joel has been a hunter in the past, and now he runs drugs and weapons through the quarantine zones and they're in the in the black market. So he's known as the guy that could get you what you need, and because of this, he's recruited by uh, like a friend um, that they're not going into who this person is but it, it seems to be the person that is taking care of Ellie. Ellie doesn't have her parents. Her parents died so she's an orphan um, but somebody I think it's somebody that's taking care of Ellie. This person is dying and they they get a hold of, of Joel and they tell him that she, they need uh, that he needs to escort 
Ellie from one from this quarantine zone to another. They're not going into why or any of that, but that's how Joel and Ellie get together. Um, he is escorting her. And because this friend was a dying friend and he promised this person, um, he, he, he feels obligated to do it. After they leave, things go wrong. They don't, they, don't go, they don't go into what happened, but the military is after them. And for some reason, so Joel is just like, I should just ditch this girl and leave. But he feels obligated to, to get her to safety because he made this prom promise to this dying friend. So at, this is where their journey starts. They, they venture west across the United States from Boston. So for Naughty Dog, realism is key. That's, that's one of the really cool things about this, is that they're trying to be very realistic, not only in the way that they make the characters react to each other and in the environment and all that, but also in the gameplay. So um, I think this game's going to be pretty challenging because um, not only did have they made it easy for you, or easy for you, because um, they say that a, a, a bullet from a pistol could kill somebody. If you shoot someone in the head, they're gonna die. But in other video games, you have to be shooting them with a freaking machine gun and they take like 50 hits or something before they go down. So this is, they said a pistol, one single shot from a pistol could kill someone. So you have to be really careful with how you spend your bullets and all that because um, you run out of bullets and then you're stuck with no gun. So they're, they're not going to have Joel running around with a submachine gun and just like, Aah! you know, th th he's, got a, he's got a pistol. I mean, you might find other pistols or something. Um, or shotgun, maybe. I don't know. But you're not going to be going crazy with these. Um, just make, They're making it as realistic as, as possible. So if you, if you run out of bullets, or you're just like, shoot. And the enemies will know that you ran out of bullets and they'll come after you. So they're trying to make the AI extremely intelligent. So they, they said that uh, there was a scene in, uh, in Uncharted 2, the train scene. I don't know what this is about, but the train scene that they took about two years to make that scene right, to, to make it, you know, good. That's what they're doing with the AI. That's how much uh, how much effort and how much dedication they're putting into the AI is that they're they're really really focusing on that to um, to make it respond in a very realistic way. Uh, they're calling that balance of power because so like I said, when Joel runs out of bullets, um, the enemies will come and attack. And if you do, you still have bullets. You have a gun. They know that you have a gun. They'll run and take cover. But if they see you have a melee object like a brick or uh, or a stick or something they'll come after you and also just as you could kill someone with a bullet they could kill you easily as well or hurt you um, so you get shot it's not like you you go into cover and you regenerate health it's not those types of games you have to apply med packs um, and they actually take time to apply it's not just like bring you know not like that you, you have to take time so you have to know exactly when to do it where to do it uh without getting you know ambushed so it's 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 a i think that just adds to the adrenaline rush to that suspense feeling of the game they're making it so that the ais react to you um and also they 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 work with each other um if a, if a, if if a friend if you kill one of their friends they get mad if uh you have the upper hand they get scared um, they warn each other. They tell each other where you are. So it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be pretty interesting. This the way that they do this. And Ellie, uh, they 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 decided not to do co-op with this just because it would have added, it would have taken away from the feeling uh, of the game. So um, they made Ellie. Uh, they they also worked very hard to get the AI uh, of Ellie to work good and not like be in your way with you know a lot of a lot of times when you have a partner um they sometimes get in your way and you're just like oh my god you when you, when you enter a fight she automatically automatically goes into cover um and when you're in this tight spot she she will help you out uh like you see that in the gameplay or in the demo 
Um, she will throw bricks at people and stuff like that. So she does help you out in times. And they also say that she does do different things as you go on, like level up, I guess. Not level up because it's not an RPG. But she does learn how to do different things as you go on. They're not explaining how. But she will do different things because they said, they said, you see, she's got a gun on the cover. Joel and Ellie could do s specific things. Like they said that they're not showing, they haven't showed this in the demos yet. Um, but you, they're, they're, the, uh, there is a part of the game where, um, or an aspect to the game, where you have to maneuver around spatial problems. So like, where you're just like, shoot, how do I get around this? You know, kind of like, where you have to use strategy. Um, and also the help of your of, of Ellie. Like Ellie could do things that Joel can't. Like they were explaining a, a, a moment there where Joel could open a door and Ellie could go through it because she's small. Go through it and then go look for a way to hold it up and then you go through it. Um, or, you know, things like that where she could only do because she's small and Joel could only do because he's stronger or taller, that kind of thing. But they both work with each other. When it comes to the factions, um, I forgot to mention that not all the factions are bad. Um, the hunters are bad, but there are other factions that, that also end up helping you if they see like a benefit for themselves. Naughty Dog usually, when they start a new IP, a new, a new franchise, a new game, they usually make it so that it's a possibility of maybe sequels coming afterwards. Um, and they asked, is, so is there a potential for a sequel for this game? They say that it's always a possibility, but they always, um, when they're, when they're making a game, they always focus on that game only. But that the game, this game, is telling the story of Joel and Ellie, and they're actually going to end it. Like, there is no cliffhanger. So that's pretty much all the, the information that I got, uh, on The Last of Us. I'm super excited for this game. It sounds like my kind of game. Uh, it, like they made it just for me like I'm like oh dude thanks guys but yeah just watching the demos and watching the trailers you could get a really really good feeling about the core of the game and that is developing the relationship between these two characters I'm gonna put some links in the in the description uh, there was this interview uh, with the the creators um, two of the creators forgot their names but they also show footage of the actual um, the actual capturing, the performance, the capturing of the performance of the actors where they found out that they, these were the two that they were going to use. Now they say that the scene isn't in the game, but it really gives you a feeling of what this game is about um, the, with the relationship and how they're going to be developing it. And it's just like, oh my god, I can't wait to play this. Let me know what you guys think about the game so far. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.